Welcome this morning to Spirit of Life Presbyterian Church, and Merry Christmas. What a, what a wonderful night last night for us to come and to see the light, to see the light that, is, that, that covers all darkness, and for us to be coming and experiencing again, hearing the story. And today we continue sharing the story. So we welcome all of you. We welcome our visitors. We're so glad that you're here. And we are so glad all of you at home that are joining in your pajamas always. It's nice to join you myself this week. And so let us now, with all of our hearts, all of our minds, all of our souls, and all of our strength, let us worship God. The oven timer is set for the green bean hot dish. The turkey's roasting. The Christmas pies are ready. The table is set. The house is strewn with wrapping paper and empty boxes everywhere. And in among all of this, there is a light that shines. A star has come to rest. Angels have sung and a manger has been filled with Good morning. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas.
We give thanks that in a little town of Bethlehem, away in a manger, a child is born. Joy to the world for the child in a manger, born while the herald angels sing. Alleluia to the newborn king. Hear us as we gather around this story and see him lying in a bed of straw where all your faithful come to royal David's city, where under a starry sky we give thanks for this first Noel. Thank you for the story first told to humble shepherds as they watched their flocks, of the Virgin Mary and her baby boy on a silent and holy night, telling us how love came down at Christmas. Today we celebrate the message of these angels from the realms of glory that in the still of the night they chant the news, Christ, the Redeemer, is here. May we share it with them and tell everyone this good news. Let us pray. God of stable stars and surprises, of light and hope and new life, open our eyes and hearts to your presence in our world. Open us to your grace that we might hear again the song of the angel and respond with a song in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. Reading from the Gospel according to Luke, listen for the word of God. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, 
The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, for the Lord has been made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Thanks be to the Lord. A book is going to be projected on the screen. Normally, I'd like to have kids come up, but I think you're going to see the book better where you are. And so today, on this Christmas morning, in our pajamas, let's read, a, let's read a kid's book. I love this book. It's by Matthew Paul Turner. He writes such wonderful, inclusive kid's books, helping share the love of God. All the Colors of Christmas. Christmas is red. It's a shiny new sled. It's candy canes and toy store lanes. It's sprinkles on sweet bread. It's my mic cutting out a little bit. I'll fix it a little bit. There we go. It's packages with bows and it's Rudolph's bright red nose. It's pictures drawn in dressed up lawns. It's warm mittens when it snows. It's the drummer boy's drum, his pa rumpa pum pum. It's Santa Claus and cranberry sauce. It's apples, pears, and plums. It's presents that we send to family and to friends. It's jolly cards and merry hearts. Yes, Christmas. Is red. Christmas is green. It's an evergreen scene. It's holly sprigs and mistletoe twigs. It's emerald lights agleam. It's garland on rails and pine needled trails. It's winter boots and funny elf suits. It's that old Mr. Grinch tail. It's Granny Smith pies and plaid bow ties. It's fresh potpourri that smells Christmassy. It's stockings hung high. It's tinsel on trees and grass iced by freeze. It's Christmas tree balls and artwork on walls. Yes, Christmas is green. Christmas is gold. It's bright ribbon unrolled. It's jingling bells and warm, yummy smells. It's heirlooms. You are not allowed to hold. It's dancers all tapping among holiday trappings. It's nutcracker crowns and Christmas Eve gowns. It's glittery gift wrapping. It's a big turkey roast and walnuts you toast. It's crackling fires and glorious choirs. It's an ornament you love most. It's kids shouting, behold, wearing halos and robes. It's treetop stars and old church bazaars. Yes, Christmas is gold. Christmas is blue. It's a winter sky's hue. It's flannel sheets and shaped cookie treats. It's a lake frozen through. It's big puffy coats and huge parade floats. It's juniper trees and blue spruce wreaths. It's writing Santa notes. Johnny, do you write Santa notes? It's a sweater mama knit, stretched yet still fits. It's turquoise lights in the darkest of nights. It's a snowman's outfit. It's memories old and new of loved ones gone too soon. It's an Elvis song and nights growing long. Yes, Christmas is blue. Christmas is white. It's warm candlelight. It's mountain tops and small fancy shops. It's turtle doves in flight. 
It's December snowstorms and blankets so warm. It's angel wings and the song that, songs that we sing about our dream for Christmas morn. It's sleigh rides through snow and tea lights that glow. It's North Pole tales and frosty exhales. It's cocoa and marshmallows. It's a star shining bright of the holiest of nights. It's powdered cakes and paper snowflakes. Yes, Christmas is white. Christmas is brown. It's pine cones scattered round. It's caramel corn and copper French horns. It's winter's frozen ground. It's firewood piled high and reindeer that fly. It's cinnamon sweets and gingerbread treats. It's homemade pecan pie. It's a cradle soft with hay and a donkey's gentle bray. It's God within a baby's skin on that very first Christmas day. It's shepherds kneeling down and wise ones gathered around. Gathered round. It's Mary's sigh and Jesus' cry. Yes, Christmas is brown. Christmas is you. It's your own unique hue. It's your wondrous gleam and your bedtime dreams. You color each Christmas anew. It's your tinsel and flair and the gifts that you share. It's your jingling smile and your fa-la-la style. It's how you love and care. It's the songs that you sing and the, lights, and the light that you bring. It's your heartfelt compassion and your hope put into action. It's your thrill for the little things. It's your love for what's true. It's the good that you do. You are part of the story, the joy and the glory. Yes, Christmas is you. Let us pray. Incarnation, God is with us, entering our lives in the most magnificent way. First, introduced to shepherds, followed by stargazers. As God shows us in person so many ways we are called to live, today we share our, our gifts as a way to support this work as Christ's church. May God bless these gifts to share the care, love, and grace out into our community and our world. Amen. This time, if the ushers come forward, the morning offering will be received.
In a moment, everything changed. On a silent night came the promised child. In a stable so humble and poor, unto us was born the Savior of the world. Love came down, hope was fall as dull in the sky. The angels cried, Glory! Light broke through. The darkest night, hope is alive, hope is alive, cause love came down, love came down. the prince is here there's no need to fear in a manger eternity rest unto us was born the savior of the world love came down hope was found a star in the sky the angels cry close darkest night hope is alive hope is alive cause love came down love came down love has come for you love has come for me Amen. That's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing your gifts this morning. Martha, thank you for this whole season, for all the gifts and the, the leadership that you've provided. So grateful. Thank you. As we prepare to pray, all of you joining us from home, help share your prayers online. We will share those together this week, together. And, and here in person, if you've missed sending a card up, if you want to jump on our Facebook page, um, on our live stream, you can jump in and share prayers as well. Let us, together, come to God in prayer. Emmanuel, God with us. As the poet Madeline Langle writes what we know so well, this is no time for a child to be born with the earth betrayed by war and hate. Yet you, O God, risk being born in a world such as this. You risk taking on flesh that is fragile, 
vulnerable, and new. O wonder of wonders and joy of joys, everlasting God, your presence gives us hope this Christmas day. As we shuffle into church and pulpit today, some in pajamas or weary from late night Christmas Eve worship, we come to give you honor and praise. We come grateful for all the good gifts with which we've been blessed. We come to pray for those who are especially in need of hope this day. Help us, Prince of Peace, to respond to your extraordinary love with love of our own. Help us to be present today with family and friends and loved ones while remembering those for whom this holiday surfaces pain and loss. As you have reached out to us in the birth of Jesus Christ, may we reach out to others. Hear our prayers for those in need of your presence and hope. Emmanuel, hear us as we pray for our world. We pray for an end to the ongoing war in Ukraine. We pray for the women and all of the people of Iran. We pray for those terrorized by extremists, those longing for peaceful solutions to age-old conflicts. We pray for the oppressed in need of liberation. We pray for evil powers to be overthrown, for wrongs to be made right, for those thirsty of justice to be satisfied. Emmanuel, hear us as we pray for our community. Gracious God, bind us together in faith and in service. Enlighten us to those in need in our communities. Organize us for action to solve systemic problems. Help us make room in our communities for weary travelers, people like Mary and Joseph, in need of a safe place to stay. Help us make room for those who long to belong, but feel left out in the cold. Emmanuel, hear us as we pray for friends and loved ones. God of compassion, bless us and those who we love. Heal those suffering from illnesses of the winter season, RSV, flu, and the ever-present threat of COVID-19. Comfort those who've recently lost loved ones, those mourning empty seats at the holiday table. Renew those needing respite, strengthen them with holiday Sabbath. Mighty God, whose word we trust, whose spirit enables us to pray, accept our requests, and further those which will bring about your purpose for the world. God, we lift the prayers of our community. We lift Bob Shepard's prayer. Prayers for Kate Allington, a second cousin, for safe and healthy baby to be born soon. We also pray with celebration as Gladys welcomed into the world her, her first grandchild yesterday. She shares, I just want to thank God for the greatest Christmas gift of a granddaughter born yesterday. To God be the glory. And God, we, we pray, we lift Bill, Bill's prayer. For Vicky's cousin Betty, who, is, who has COVID. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we lift these prayers to you. We lift all of the ones unspoken as we pray together the words that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine's the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. It's wonderful this morning. Like last night was so wonderful. I couldn't believe how many people kept coming in. You know, uh, setting up for communion last night. Ruth, Ruth said, I have two trays full, and it was about 85 cups. And I'm like, oh, that will be plenty. And then I'm texting Dwayne sitting towards the back, 
Dwayne, can you make more communion cups? <laughs> and it was wonderful. It was a joy. And it's fun this morning as it started out with a handful of us and it kept growing. I'd like to think of that as the message of the shepherds coming and then going out, helping share something that kept growing. Um, we share with you today the joy that we shared in the prayer. And I'm going to see if by chance Eric had time because I just texted him about five minutes ago. Did you get the picture? So here we celebrate with Gladys, her granddaughter. Aww. Welcome to the world, Soraya Elizabeth English. And Gladys, what a joy. We're so thankful for you to come be with us today, and we celebrate with you. Um, next week, also being a holiday Sunday, um, well, next week um, I'll probably come and worship, but Steve Braden is preaching, which is wonderful. He's, he's a great preacher. So he's going to preach, and he asked me, he goes, can it be pajama Sunday? And I said, you bet it can. We're doing it this Sunday. He said, well, if you're doing it, how about if we make it Everyone wears sweats next Sunday. And, and, so, uh, and so, Loretta, the challenge is being made to see if you can not dress up for church. Uh, you, guys, you guys like it, don't you? Yeah, you do. So, yeah. I kind of like it too. So let us now uh, stand. We're going to close in singing. Oh, oh Mary, Mary Browsey, I think you're online. Sing loud with us. This one's for you. Let, let us sing. Amen. Merry Christmas. And may we know this whole spirit of new life, of new birth, of, of my favorite line from O Holy Night. It talks about that in sin and error pining, that, that we did not know until Jesus Christ appeared in our lives. That that is the hope that we have. 
the hope, the hope that we have that carries us forth in how we love, how we see each other, and how in our own struggles that, that we have some, there's something there that, that we're never alone. We are never alone, that God is always with us. So may we go forth knowing that, and then let's connect with each other. Let's connect with our children today as we celebrate um, a lot of joy in our houses today. Let's play the games, but let's also seek those that maybe are alone today and find, seek ways to invite them to the table. May this love, the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the peace and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen.